Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Nick. That was just a, um, is that, uh, what's that from? It's not cinema, I don't even know where it's from, I think it's from a film. But hello everyone and welcome to a little get ready with me. It's basically, I just want to show you the new HMB powders. So... I feel like I've started this video really, really weirdly, and I'm gonna take off my mascara, I think, and I'm just gonna start it again. Okay, so I'm back. So for today's video, I'm just gonna be doing a get ready with me. It's just a get ready with me to film like it's nothing special. I'm just probably gonna do the exact same thing as I always do. Um, nothing too intense on the eyes because I can't really be bothered. But I do want to give like a little review and my thoughts on the HMB um, Soft Focus Powder. So I actually bought this in the three light shades. Um, I haven't used one of them. Um, so I got three shades. I got one which is fair, two which is translucent and three which is banana. So Holly says that she uses translucent and fair under her eyes. Um, fair if she wants it really, really bright and then banana to like set the rest of her face. I haven't used banana yet. I did try using translucent to like sharpen up my contour the other day. However, it literally, it was too, like it, didn't look right it stuck weird so i'm gonna try it all again today so i'm just gonna go ahead and do my like foundation stuff like i normally would and um, i might as well do it now and chat with you um i really have where's my so i'm just gonna go in with my wonder glow first from charlotte tilbury i've really got back into my hd foundation um there went through a stage where I was obsessed. I think it was when I came home from Bali last year. I was obsessed with the um, HD foundation. You know, like HD brows where they have a foundation. And if you haven't tried it already, it is amazing. Um, it's really, really, really good. Highly recommend. I highly, highly, highly recommend that. Um, so I've just been mixing like a tiny bit of that with my NARS Radiant. I love this so much. I really, really do. I haven't ever tried their Sheer Glow, but I just love that so much. I'm literally just going to take like a size and then one pump of this is about the same size as that. So, and then I'm just going to dot them, what is that, around my face. I also at the weekend I picked up that around, I picked up the NARS creamy concealer. Now hear me out. I had never tried it before. I had never tried the NARS creamy concealer and I feel like that is like what the hell? It's like one of the most raved about concealers ever and I just hadn't ever tried it. Picked that up at the weekend and I am really 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 liking that. Um it makes you, it, it just is so flawless. That mixed with this powder is incredible. Um, which makes me think, obviously, Tarte Shape Tape is probably one of my, well, I don't know, actually, I was going to say, Tarte Shape Tape is probably one of my, uh, is probably one of my favourite foundations. So I'm thinking that mixed with this powder is probably going to be even nicer. But then again, also, I love Charlotte Tilbury Magic, Magic Away Concealer. Yeah, so I really, really like the coverage that I get with that. It's not too much. It's, like, not too crazy, but you can definitely build that up to, like, full coverage. I mean, that is quite full coverage, like, let's be real. But, I mean, like, full, full coverage. I'd probably do, like, another pump of each if I was, like, going on a night out. The flies just entered the room. We're, like, going for another heat. Also, I'm so sorry if I've got hairy armpits. Um, I don't know why, I just said that to you but i am sorry basically i had botox in my armpits yesterday and um, to stop excess sweating and you can't shave them for like a while after for like two days after so just having to deal with that so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this on as like a cream bronzer this brush is the best brush for puffing out cream bronzer this is the spectrum co7 and i honestly don't feel like it's ever been made easier it's so good 
just literally blends so effortless i use that in the shade 340 and my foundation i use the hd foundation in the shade tan and the nars one in the shade barcelona just for reference i don't know why my neck never tans like i have like a white it's so weird it's so hot in my room oh my god i have a bit of warm cookie here i'm meant to be on a diet oh my god mm. my brother got that from papa john's wow that was great so i'm gonna go in my nars creamy concealer this is in the shade medium one which is custard and i just drag it down i really need to clean my beauty blender this is probably why i've got so many spots um i'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender so once that's blended i'm just gonna take my foundation brush and just take that over the edges and then take the brush that i had the contour on and just go back over that i really want to get some of her darker shades as well to do like bronzer as well and um, because i saw polly merchant i think that's how you say her name i saw her do it on instagram and i was like why did i not think of that um, and it looks so flawless so right i'm gonna make sure that i have got no creases under my eye and I'm going to go in with the shade Translucent to start with. And then I can lighten it with a bit of fair if I need to. So. Make sure there is no creases whatsoever. And I'm just going in with another dry sponge. And I'm just going to keep pressing this into the skin. Take it over my eyelid. It's just so flawless. So I'm now going to just take my powder brush and just brush over that just to make sure I'm getting rid of any excess. But there shouldn't really be any because I did kind of push it into my skin when applying it. And I'm just going to pick up a tiny bit of that translucent on my brush and just take that over my chin. Now I've got my small lines. Okay, so now that I have set my whole face, I'm going to go in with the shade Fair. And I'm going to apply this like under my eye just to really brighten that area. Like I don't think I need it. But for the sake of the video, I am going to try it out. So I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up on my sponge. And take that right under my eye. And just keep patting that in. And then I'm going to just brush away. Any excess. And you can see that has really, really brightened up that side of my face. I'm going to do the same. And there we go. I love the consistency of that powder. It's so finely milled. It's so soft and light. And even though I've done like two layers of powder. One, I wouldn't say it looks like I have. And two, I can't feel it on my face. It doesn't feel cakey. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze up now with my Filmstar Glow and Bronze. This is in the darker shade. Um, and Okay, so I'm all bronzed up. And now, for the sake of the video, I wouldn't usually, um, like, contour, um, like, sharpen up that unless I was maybe going on a night out. And I'm doing like full, full glam. But I will try it. I'm a bit scared because I did this before and it went really, really bad. I might just try it with a powder brush. Like a nice fluffy brush. I'm just going to dab this into the shade Banana. And just use this to clean up underneath. Oh yeah, I prefer doing this with a brush, 100%. Really like that. Really like these powders. I, do you know what? I just expected nothing less. Do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't expect anything less than this from the queen herself. 
and it's safe to say she has completely smashed it again so thank you holly for coming through i'm gonna actually purchase the next shade which is a darker one and try and use that as like bronzer or the next or two shades up i need to have a little look at them um but i'm gonna definitely try that because they're only 13 pounds or 13 pound 50 which is absolutely ridiculous i mean that's on par with the rcma and rcma is nowhere near as good as these and you've got laura mercia out there for like what is it i don't know i've not bought it in so long but it's just so expensive so i'm gonna go in with california now i've kind of fallen back in it, back in love with this blusher it's got a little gold reflex in it and i'm just really living for the color of it at the moment blush really just does make a difference i think always take it around my temples and on my nose do you know what? I don't know if I should go and shut the blind because I feel like you can't see me. Okay, so I actually feel like that's worse. So I'm just going to get back up again. So, for brows, I don't, I've not really been doing too much for my brows purely because I had them laminated and they look quite full and I'm quite happy with them. I feel like they could be tinted again though just brush them up and then i go in with my benefit precisely my brow in the shade 3.5 and i just really really slightly underline and kind of just fill in anywhere that is like slightly bare because i do have some little patches that just haven't managed to grow just yet but saying that my brows have got so much thicker than what they were they used to be really, really thin and really, really dark. Um, and they were only really dark because I used to literally... I don't even know what I used. Oh, I know what I used, actually. I used Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Soft Brown. And Soft Brown was not my colour. And then I just run a little bit of the P. Louise Brow Beautiful Brow Gel from my brows. This is in the shade... Mochaccino. however i do think this is a little bit dark for me and um, but i've won it in that competition so obviously i didn't get to pick my shade and um, but i just try and put this on really really lightly so i'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara i won't talk while i do it because i literally try and push my eyelashes up so high so they look really long um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will finish my lips on camera and then I might as well do my hair with you guys as well because it's a little get ready with me so I'll do my hair with you as well. Okay so for my hair I'm going to just curl it with my Molly May Waver. Um, also I just use strip down on my lips if anyone is going to ask my usual nude lip combo. I feel like my hair has got longer. And I have been using, look, don't you think? Look how long that's got. That has got so long. I've been using that Dream Links shampoo. I don't know if you watched the video where I spoke that I bought it. But I don't know if it's that. Or, it sounds weird, but I feel like working out has helped my hair grow. I feel like from getting fitter, my hair's got longer. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. But I feel like that's what's happened. So these are already like pre-curled because I wore them out at the weekend. But I'm just going to go over them and obviously curl my hair into them because my hair is not curly as you can see. Um, I'm not going to wear all the sets because I don't even end up, know if I'll end up wearing this for the entire day. But it's really hot and this is going to be, I feel like it's just going to be a sweaty hairstyle you know. But it might be because I have got my dress gown wrapped my my waist. So whenever I put hair extensions in, I always hairspray my layers. So I find that that just really helps the like clips hold in. Instead of all that back combing and stuff, it's literally I do it like this. Um, as I said before, please ignore my armpits. They are 
bruised and hairy. I do have a full video coming out on that whole process and why I have it done and all stuff like that just because I feel like it might be something that other people suffer with as well and I don't think it is spoken about because I don't know I feel like a lot of people would find it embarrassing like I would find it embarrassing also but then I feel like it's my it's my job as someone with a platform to let you guys know that it's completely normal and I haven't got my glove on so I am going to burn myself it always happens doesn't it ow I did just burn myself how many times am I going to drop that hair am I going to drop it again or am I going to hold on to it Whenever I curl my hair, I always curl it away from my face so that the curls will like twist out away from my face. Is that well, obviously? I just said away from my face. I feel really exposed with my armpit like this. I can't really see any ways of going around this. There's gonna be someone somewhere with an armpit fetish, and I've just catered for it really, haven't I? So I finally finished the full um, very good series if you haven't watched that then I recommend it it's very very good the ending was the ending got me like oh my god I was shook um, yeah I highly recommend it to people and now I don't know what to watch because people have said prison break I feel like that was like a thing of years ago and I just never ever watched it so I'm thinking maybe that or um, there's another one that I've never seen as well. Um, what was that one with Tom Hardy in? Oh, I have no idea now. But I need to have a new series to watch. So if you've got any recommendations, send them my way. Because I am all ears. I'm really, really... I actually inquired to get um, my tapes back. Because I really, really want long hair. Like... You guys just don't even know. It makes me feel so much better. I don't know why. I feel like it would solve almost all of my problems right now. Yeah, I really want to get my tapes back. The only thing that is stopping me is the fact that what if we go into another lockdown? Like they're already restricting like things again. And I'm just thinking if we go into another lockdown and then I've got tapes one it'll be like a waste not a waste but like i'm not going to be going out anywhere so what's the point in having nice hair and doing my hair and stuff if i'm not even going to be leaving the house and two if we do go into another lockdown then i'm not going to be able to get to the hairdressers to have my maintenance and stuff and then they're going to get all like matted and disgusting and i just then i would have just wasted money on it and that's not really going to be good for anyone. So I'm in two minds of what to do currently. I can just keep clipping these in, but it's just, there's something about clippings that just annoys me. I feel like sometimes I move my head like a robot, if anyone relates to that at all, I don't know. Yeah, I just feel like sometimes clippings make me feel a bit restricted. Like, oh, I think it's purely because if, like, I lean on the hair, then obviously the clip comes loose. Whereas if you lean on a tape, it will just pull your hair. It doesn't actually come out. So, I think that's the reason behind it. But I just don't know. But anyway, I'm going to zoom through my hair because literally this is what I'm going to do for my whole head. So, I'm literally going to zoom through this and I will see you when I'm finished. Okay, so as promised, I am back. That literally just took me forever. But now for the magic part. I'll just move it a little bit lower. Um, so once my hair is all curled, I have like hair sprayed it and let it set. I'm going to just take my Beauty Works Times Money Make like paddle brush. You want one that's like really bristly for this. Um, and I just brush out the curls. Oh 
god i need to get some silver shampoo on that can you see it's gone like orange that's from perfume i think oops and there we go just like that i have got the most perfect perfect beachy waves this is literally my favorite hairstyle in the world and there we go and that is the end of the video um so thoughts on the h&b cosmetics um soft focus powder i think it is absolutely incredible like i think my makeup looks amazing my skin looks so pore free um and yeah i really 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 love it um £13.50 you can't really go wrong can you I'll leave it linked down below in case anyone wants to get your hands on it I'll also try and link all the products that I use today down below because I feel like sometimes I forget to do that I used to do it all the time and I feel like I should probably do it in case you want to get anything um my hair is beauty works i use the beauty works molly way waver to that just went out of focus and um, i use the beauty works molly way waver to curl it curl it i mean curl kit i mean not waver i used her curl kit to wave my hair um i'll leave this link down below as well i do have a discount code with beauty works which is just amy c10 which i'll leave below um next to the link so if you do want to pick up either um beauty works hair extensions or any products from there you can get 10 percent off this is these are the 20 inch um 20 inch iced blonde i wear um but yeah so i'm gonna love and leave you thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you very soon for another video as always video suggestions are always welcome so if there's anything that you want me to film then please do let me know and i will probably get around to doing it for you so i'll see you soon don't forget to follow me on instagram as well take care and i'll see you very soon bye